Hi all, uh, this is a quick tutorial on working with Influx 2.0 on Node-RED. So this video is in continuation uh, to a previous tutorial which was on Influx 1.8. Uh, feel free to check that out, all the links in the description below. So I'm, not, I'm running uh, Node-RED on a Jetson Nano, but you can run Node-RED anywhere on a Raspberry Pi or, the, or on a Cloud VM. Uh, and this is what the flow looks like. Uh, uh, and for this tutorial, I'm using Influx Cloud, and I've already got a bucket set up here, uh, which is called YouTube Tutorial. And right now it's empty. Coming back to a flow. So this flow looks uh, similar to the flow that we worked on in our last tutorial. So we are doing three things. We are writing to the database, we are reading from the database, and we'll make a table in the Node-RED dashboard. Uh, from the data we read. Uh, so the first write operation, we are just writing a random value to the influx DB. So I have an inject node with uh, a random number generator and I'm formatting the data with fields and tags. You can read more about this uh, structure using the info panel in the influx DB out node. So after the formatting the data, I'm sending the data as message.payload to InfluxDB out node, and which is set up uh, with my credentials of InfluxDB cloud. So what I'm going to do now is add three data points. And if I come back to my InfluxDB cloud now, I should see the three data points that are added. So the fields, field was temperature, the value, the random number, and the tag is timestamp. So to fetch the points, I will use an InfluxDB in node. And I, I can either write the query here, or in this scenario, I'm using a function node to inject my query. So according to my query, uh, bucket is my YouTube tutorial. Uh, the name of my bucket range is from start minus five minutes so it will give me last five minutes data the name of my measurement and the field that i'm looking for so you can update this query to add more fields or to filter out uh, the results and i'm using a debug block just to display the uh, results on the debug sidebar so if i fetch I should see the three objects that I added initially. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use these objects and display them in the Node-RED dashboard. So for that, uh, I'm using a table node. And after the read operation, I'm using a function node to parse our data. So I'm looping through this object, this array, and I'm making a uh, list out of it with temperature and my time. So, and then I'm pushing it to uh, Influx, uh, sorry, and then I'm pushing it to Node-RED dashboard. So if I hit fetch now, and if I go to my Node-RED dashboard, I should see the three objects that were, uh, that were read from the database. Now let's say if I push, I add a uh, few more points in the database. So and if I submit my query again, I get more points. And if I fetch again, so these are the points that I get, uh, that I pushed in the last five minutes. That's it. Uh, and this flow is avail available for download. Uh, so please check the description below.